Uh, hey there. Uh, you may know that Banjo is already out, and this reaction is really late, but I am a big Banjo fan. If you saw any of my last Banjo reactions, you probably know that. Um, he was my number one most wanted character, so I do recommend checking out my reaction to this showcase, even if it is far behind. Life's just been super busy. So, uh, thank you, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Alright guys, so now we're going to check out this Banjo video. Um, I'm also, unfortunately, when I'm looking at the Banjo stuff, or at the end of the Nintendo Direct, I was seeing uh, Sans stuff, which is very strange. So, maybe Sans is in the game too. I don't know. Either way. I, I, by the way, I do like Undertale. Um, you know, I've never been big on needs an indie rep. Uh, you know, that Smash needs an indie rep. But if it gets an indie rep, Undertale is a good one. So, we'll see. Let, let's take a look. Okay, so recording over there. Everyone. I'm Hiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Ultimate Hold Game. On. In our last... No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll sync it up. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Masahiro Sakurai. Look at that Baron bird. Super Smash Brothers Just Ultimate kill it. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about Hero. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. Oh, it's so great to hear that. You may feel like some time has passed since our hero showcase, <laughs> but we're actually recording this only two days after that broadcast. <laughs> we sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Now that Mega character's Nintendo fast. Is over, please let me Took a little while. A little bit more now it's... Oof. You may remember in the hero showcase, I was playing by myself, using two controllers, like this. I don't know how he does that. With Hero, if you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shield. Yep. So, in the background, I was actually using the second controller to make the hero look away or do moves so my attacks <laughs> would connect. Today I have my controllers set up side by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. <laughs> Try doing this with the Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. Oh. So, even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. I don't know... This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once. Plays it like an arcade like stick. Kazooie, two characters acting as one. Alright, let's get started. So, what is Banjo-Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, it's similar to Super Mario 64, mm -hmm. and it was first released on Nintendo 64 it's back in 1998. The character Banjo made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, yep. Banjo Kazooie was released, and then Banjo Tooie. Yep. Two titles were then released for Game Boy Advance, yep. although they never came to Japan. Yep. And then there's Banjo Kazooie so Nuts and Bolts, Bolt, which was released on Xbox 360. As no some of you may that. know, the Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Yep. <laughs> Technically, they're a rival platform holder. Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Bros. Microsoft, we owe so much to you. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Rare also welcomed us with open arms. <laughs> As they should. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. The original game can now be played on Xbox. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. <laughs> Now I guess it's not coming. Not the coming Banjo to Switch. Kazooie series music has a country feel to it. If we were sure. to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle. <laughs> so we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for okay. you several of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. <laughs> okay. Yes, here. Thank you. You'll see the track names. Sakura. Daddy's okay. okay. Let's <laughs> take a look at the him. fighter. That's part of Challenger Pack 3. Banjo and Kazooie join the battle. So, this is Banjo and Kazooie in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. 
there's Kazooie. <laughs> We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. <laughs> what? Look at that bear! We've included lots of actions Banjo and Kazooie use in their original game. Yes. Jinjo's just flying around. The yep. talent trot here is used for their dash. And their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and yep. feathery flap. Whee! God, it's so beautiful. Their neutral attack is called Claw Swipes. Look at that stage. This ability looks similar to this in the original game, but we built upon the original motion right. so it better fits the action of our game. I understand. Their flurry attack is a rat attack. <laughs> Makes sense. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong yes. uses as well. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Yep. Their up smash is build drill. Oh, really? It's okay, it's an up smash. Games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. <laughs> In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazui. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazui is. Yep. So this basically means bird bash, yep. which is pretty accurate. <laughs> their neutral air is wing whack. Oh yeah, from Tui, right? Yeah. Their back air is an air ratatat rat, which hits three times. I see Grunty Their down there. air is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab. Yes, that's all I wanted. I was like, they have to have the Beak Buster. As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the down and up taunts were something that existed in the Banjo Kazooie series too. Mm -hmm. The up taunt is based on an animation from Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where yes. Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. It's pretty much their go-to move. The eggs bounce, and by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Briegel Blaster. <laughs> <laughs> Briegel Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an egg. Oh, the eggs disappear. Look at this boy. You can hold the button for auto fire, but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need to be careful. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. <laughs> Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. Wonder Wing. Beautiful. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. Okay. This is so just beautiful. It's fairly powerful and will basically win against any other attack. Damn. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. Mm -hmm. There are five of them in total, and I just use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until wow. you lose a stock. Okay. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads once activated, you'll really need to make sure you Mumbo have a number of uses. Mumbo and 2D in the background. You can use it as a recovery option. Makes and sense. since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. <laughs> In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. Oh, damn. At any rate, keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. Yeah. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. So great. Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad from their original <laughs> game. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring Pad. It can be used to recover and it's throwable too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you can jump twice in a row. Great. That's so awesome. Falling, you can use it like this. Jump, and then dodge, increasing your ability Oh my recover. god. Yes. <laughs> this By jump way, was looking weak in that first trailer, but with that, jump will change it's beautiful. Depending on how long you hold the button down. Great. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, rear egg, they'll fire a grenade out of the backpack. I was gonna say. So it's always a grenade, it's a grenade egg. egg. 
This is a slightly odd projectile in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. Yeah, that is weird. I mean, and because for, and Smash is football shape, it's not weird. Its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. <laughs> I love it though. After a certain time, it will explode. I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Your Look opponent these. can also throw it back at you. <laughs> Can't believe they're in this game. But its detonation sequence is relatively short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess the bridge never connects or to use this I think that's the grunty boss fight with the uh... God, look at these Boy. Well, the boy and girl. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Gruntilda in their original game. This move will send your opponents flying. I'm so happy. New stage, Spiral Mountain. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the West it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a mountain where the bottom portion is a spiral shape. <laughs> a rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Brothers series. Oh, yeah. It's truly unique. Oh. Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, so you never will also get move. to fight on the bridge. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform. Look at meaning this. Meaning your recovery points will also change. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gruntilda's lair is visible. He was just juggling his eyes. <laughs> now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, let's go ahead and jump into some actual battles. All right, Sakurai. Let's see them in action. This time, I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in team battle. <laughs> Sakurai Donkey showing Donkey Kong, stuff. Diddy Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. Hang on. So there are actually two on my side too. Oh wow! So I should be fine. Right? <laughs> Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Looks like I'm gonna get beaten up pretty bad. I just realized I just they come around. out of this. So I'll play the carefully. jiggy like. <laughs> I should oh probably keep them in check. Your eggs, which can be fired forward or backward, are useful at times like this. And thanks to Kazooie, Banjo and Kazooie can use moves with a relatively wide range of attack. We'll make good use of these as we take them on. Oh my god. Note we're playing with items on. <laughs> look at the I look at this boy. So <laughs> I have two opponents, and you can't go to the bridge. On, they'll have twice as many opportunities to pick up items. Right? And since the final smash meter is on, the opponent yes. can use it twice. Does the bridge, is it walk off or does it go all the way to... I'm at quite a disadvantage, but I'm going to try my hardest. I can use Wonder Wing two more times. Oh my god. Oops, I guess I should be explaining all their moves, huh? <laughs> auto fire, auto fire. Ooh, ouch. Uh oh. Oh, the final Don't you lose, Sakurai. You can have that. Now. Okay, so it's walk off. And. Boom! Nice. <laughs> Killing it, Sakurai. Now that there's one less opponent, this should be easier. I do want to use a final smash, but it might be a bit tough. <laughs> oh, <that's good>. <laughs> <laughs> Just killing and it, Sakurai. I forced him out, so I win. That's how the game works, yes. Banjo picks up a jiggy from the original game. <laughs> <laughs> that's a wrap. That was beautiful. Cameos. Yes, of course. I'd also like to talk about some of the Shouldn't cameos go. that liven up the stage. First, we have the witch Gruntilda. So no boss. In Banjo-Kazooie, this poor soul gets sealed underground by a boulder. Anyway, she's very cruel, and you can hear all about her from her sister, Gruntilda. 
Is Brent told to show up? Oh, okay. This is Bottles, a mole, and Look at that mole. poor soul. His fate is sealed in the beginning of Banjo 2. <laughs> For a bit. He's a friend of Banjo and Kazooie. <laughs> Next is Mumbo Jumbo. Look at that. This poor soul had all of his Mumbo tokens stolen by Gruntilda. It's true. He helps you out in many ways throughout the game. And we have Tootie. Can you spot her? <laughs> She's running at the bottom. Oh. She's tiny and can barely even make her out. But by zooming in, I love all these cameos. you can see all the detail. Even at her size. Tootie's been missing for a long time. You could time. probably make an action game just using this. I don't know she's raising she's havoc on the vegetable patch for some reason. <laughs> and after that, she strikes an enigmatic taunt. <laughs> now she's heading back home. She looks all calm when you look at her this way, but this soul is actually the saddest of all the souls. You'd understand how miserable she really is if you saw the game over scene in Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> oh, maybe she's not going home? <laughs> and here come the Jinjos. Oh. We saw some of these a short while ago when the mighty Jinjinator appeared. They come in many different colors and were hidden throughout the world by Gruntilda in the original game. So you could say they're also sad souls. And now we see something floating around in the background. These are our basic Buzz enemy bombs. characters called Buzz Bombs. But since they can float around, they're lucky enough to have made the cut in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> This is what they look like close up. It's basically a dragonfly, right? We put a lot of thought into the guest characters as well, and we put a lot of effort into these hard to see areas. So I hope oh, yeah. you enjoy it. We enjoy it. Oh, baby. Make a break. Next, let's Kobe's talk Valley. Music. As I mentioned earlier, we're taking country style music and adapting it for use in battle. Not the final battle. A total of 10 music tracks. 10. Okay. Of these, 7 are entirely new arrangements. I've always thought that getting all this for $5.99 is a fantastic <laughs> deal. So, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> you right. The music for Spiral Mountain was arranged by Grant Kirkhope. He created the original Banjo Kazooie's music. I've worked with many musicians over the years, mm -hmm. but this is the first time I've worked with a musician outside of Japan. Yep. I was a bit worried about whether my directions would be understood, <laughs> but he did an absolutely wonderful job. Yes, he did. Good job, Grant. Here's the list of tracks this time. Okay. Each of the tracks has been carefully Ah, uh, no final battle. On place on screen. That's a little harsh. Oh well. Version 5.0. Let's go. Alongside the launch of Banjo and Kazooie, there will also be a software update. We're very pleased with the sales of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And to express our appreciation, we've added another game mode, which will pretty much be our final new mode. Ah. I'm going to go ahead and play, so please take a look. And here it is. Come run. You need to damage the sandbag in front of you as much as possible. And with this bat, not with this, but this bat. <laughs> and off it goes. High. Maybe a little too high. And so, Home Run Contest makes its return. That's beautiful. It's been powered up in various ways compared to previous Home Run Contests, so please enjoy. <laughs> This time, Sandback has flown 300 kilometers. I think that's about the distance from Tokyo to Nagoya. That's if you drive on the Tomei Expressway. You can actually play with a second player. Okay. Co-op is brought back. Let's give it a go. Attack, attack, keep attacking using both players. <laughs> Just destroying. Time to strike. Here we go. Oh my god. No. 
this isn't how you're supposed to play the game. When I say two players can take part, I mean friends can play together, and not one person playing as two fighters. I hope you play this with your friends. I don't know how he just did that, but that was incredible. In shared content, many people have uploaded their customized Mii Fighters. Up until now, it may have been a little difficult to use since you were not able to customize their special moves. But moving forward, you will be able to freely customize their special oh, moves. Oh wow, okay, they're bringing that back. If you find well, I guess it was back, but... Like of, you can freely download them and set the special moves however you want and play as them. Me fighters! However, this will not be applied to Mii Fighters created before this software update. Gotcha. It only applies to Mii Fighters created after the update. So I hope you re-upload your Mii Fighters. Yeah, that makes sense. Please enjoy many different varieties of Mii Fighters. We will add in some Mii Fighter costumes as well. Please take a look. Let's see if Minecraft shows up. Extra me fighter costumes round three. Goemon? Oh, that's dope. That's dope. That's a great one. Mega Man. Proto Man! I think that was around before, right? In Wii U? I imagine it was. Mega Man X. Zero? Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon. Wow. You never see Pokemon. Oh, okay. That is sick. That is awesome. I wonder if any other Microsoft characters... Okay, so Sans is not a character. Oh. You know that just made a lot of people angry. No wonder. No wonder I got. Okay. Available later today. For 75 cents each. We've added a costume for Sans from Undertale. I was wondering. It was a popular request. Yeah. And this Sans outfit also comes with a music track. This will be listed in the other category, so you can check it out there. The arrangement was made by none other than the creator of Undertale himself, yeah. Toby Fox. That had to be done. Toby has actually visited my house, and we played Super Smash Bros. Ultimate together. <laughs> wow! He was actually really good. Of all the guests, he was probably the strongest. When we both chose random and played, the win ratio was about half and half. Damn! Or I may have been losing. <laughs> Next, I'd like to talk about a new set of amiibo that will soon be available. Squirtle. Squirtle. I think it's Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Snake, right? Ivysaur. And Snake. And Snake. I wonder why he was hiding. <laughs> they will each be available on September 20th. Oh baby, right around the corner. The software update, including the Banjo and Kazooie DLC, will be available today. Oh, that's the next video. That's part of Challenger Pack 4, Terry Bogard. Okay, we're, we're talking about him. As mentioned in Nintendo Direct, Terry Bogard will be joining Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Although we showed the reveal trailer, there was hardly any in-game footage. Mm -hmm. Some of you may wonder where the in-game footage is. Well, it's shaping up nicely. But we weren't quite ready to include it in the reveal. Gotcha. 
SNK that SNK Neo Geo opening was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> that was so great. I'd like to show you just a little bit of in-game footage of Terry. Here you go. Looks great. King of Fighters. I'm not familiar with the game. Yep. That's awesome. The Finally. That's great. It was announced that we will be working on even more DLC fighters. To me, it feels like the finish line is sliding farther away. <laughs> you may wonder, how much longer can he be involved with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Who? But I'm also excited. Okay. Adding more characters into the game means that more game worlds will be added to the series. Yes. And ultimately, that means that there will be an even greater opportunity to delight the fans. At the same time, I feel that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is now representing so many characters in game worlds that it's become an enormous game. But we love it. Even if the Super Smash Bros. series continues moving forward, I doubt there will ever be an opportunity to bring this many characters together yep. again. And so, I want to keep improving on this record as much as possible. And I will continue to work hard at developing the game. Sakurai. I appreciate your support. Take some breaks. That's it for today. Like, Thank you, you very much. There's reports of you using like an IV bag and stuff like that, Sakurai. Oh. Banjo looks so good. I next video is gonna be me, me playing with the bear and the bird. I got there was one replay I really want to uh, capture, uh, so I'm not gonna connect my switch to the internet. And then, oh boy, we're we'll playing this banjo. Let's go. I hope it. I hope the servers aren't completely crashed. <laughs> anyway, let's go, guys going all night what are we at 3 3 30 in the morning jesus let's do it guys next video banjo